The year is 2023. You're queuing up to the first Fortnite Live event in a year. If you can get into the bloody thing, you enter the event, taking one last look at the Chapter 1 island, knowing it could be the last time you see your home which holds so many memories dear to your heart. As the meteor comes crashing down and the familiar motif starts playing, it all starts coming back to you. This is the moment where it all ends. You close your eyes and wait for the end as the world around you starts to vanish. You open your eyes and you see... Eminem. Fortnite in 2024 has taken a large leap into the metaverse, an ever-expanding infinite platform of entertainment and branding. I, I swear I've said this before. In Chapter 5, Fortnite took a big step into the metaverse, an interconnected world filled with... Hang on a minute, I'm plagiarizing myself! To intro Fortnite's biggest step into the metaverse, yet yeah, they released Rocket Racing, Fortnite Festival, and LEGO Fortnite, entire game modes built using the Fortnite engine. I'm not really going to delve too much into what these modes are, because if you're watching this video, then you probably already know. But can we just stop for a moment to talk about how Eminem was used to premiere Fortnite Festival to the public, and yet he has exactly zero songs in the game? A lot of people are against the Fortnite metaverse for one reason or another, but the most common reason is that it's taking resources away from the Battle Royale and putting it into uh, these other modes, which is a true statement. There's a reason why we haven't had as many big live events recently, and that's because the live event team has been mostly allocated elsewhere. So obviously people have a right to be a little bit upset about that, but not Marvin Metaverse over there. Play Rocket Racing. But what really grinds my gears, what really squeezes my clumberry, what really tickles my- is that the community is so inconsistent with what they hate about the Fortnite Metaverse. Seriously, you think that half the community was bipolar with how often they change their opinions on this topic? The Fortnite Metaverse is the worst thing to ever happen to the game. Its inclusion in the game is absolutely and unequivocally going to be the destruction of the game as we know it, all because we couldn't look past our hunger and greed for more. Oh, I hear they're adding Baby by Justin Bieber into the game. 10, Ten out of 10, 10 best, best game! And I know some of you, uh, highly educated individuals are going to call me a metaverse shill for even suggesting that the mere existence of rocket racing isn't going to be the end of humanity as we know it. 50 bajillion years from now, aliens are going to visit Earth completely abandoned, everything destroyed, no life left, and find a note on the floor written in Tim Sweeney's blood saying rocket racing did it! The only reason I'm even talking about this whole thing is because I've seen certain people within the Fortnite community complaining for months about how the metaverse will be the, the death of the game and all metaverse slop is useless and nobody likes it and those who will will be cast into the death of hell. Turn around completely once Columbo was added to the game purely because it used to be in Battle Royale two years ago. I don't care whether you like the metaverse or hate it, stop flip-flopping around. I bet that one guy in the comments from my last video feels like Oppenheimer right now. You caused this, you hear me? I'm not angry at the fact that you don't like the metaverse or anything. In fact, I think it's a good thing if you're questioning the morals behind it and are upset that they took resources away from the thing you like. But it's the fact that you're all so goddamn inconsistent about it that gets me going. You're allowed to change your mind, but if you hate the metaverse and say that it's dystopian and it's stripping Fortnite away from its identity and it's going to make the battle royale obsolete, Hey, the Daily Bugle, that's cool. If you like it, that's cool. If you don't like it, that's cool. Just pick a damn lane. So there, there's my Metaverse rant. Don't like it? Write me a... letter.